Okay, SEO for veterinarians. Everything that you need to know to uh, increase your visibility on Google, get more visitors to your site and get more folks calling you. So the most important part of vet SEO is what's called the Google local pack. And it looks like this. So basically, um, when people are looking for a vet, what do they do? Most likely they're sitting up on the couch, snuggling with their dog, watching Netflix, and they type in something like veterinarian near me, best vet in Portland, uh, best vet near me, you know, something like that. And the first thing that comes up is called this Google local pack. And only three businesses show up here. You can pay for ads in here, but they're not super effective. Um, organically getting found here is where vets dominate. If you can show up in a major city for best vet in Portland, vet in Portland, vet near me, you're going to get phone calls and you're going to get, uh, you know, new, uh, new folks coming in. And so that's where the magic happens. And so why is that so valuable? Because thousands of people are searching for vet near me or best vet near me or vet in Portland, as we just talked about. So this is from what's called Google trends. And this shows, um, this is a tool from Google itself and it shows how searches change over time. So over the last five years, how have people searched for vet near me? And you can see that it's consistently going up. People are doing near me searches more and more and more. And uh, people trust that Google will get the answer right. And so again, they just search for vet near me, as you can see more and more people each year. So if you're not being found for those types of searches, then you're missing out. And so how do you rank in the Google local pack as a vet? Uh, it's called Google My Business. It's a free profile that you can set up with Google. Uh, if you're a vet, 99% chances that you already have one. But here's where a lot of vets get it wrong. They don't optimize everything within the Google My Business. You have uh, your name, you have your, your uh, you know, all of the different categories that you can be listed under, uh, veterinarian, um, and you have all this info that you can share. You can share a description, you can share the services that you offer, you can share when you were open as a business, you can share photos, you can share um, Google posts, you can write basically mini blog posts slash social media within your Google My Business profile. And uh, according to data, it's between 20 and 30% of local ranking factors are determined by your Google My Business. That means that Google, when choosing who to rank for a search like a vet near me, it crawls all of the vets in the area and um, it looks at hundreds of different factors. It looks at your website, it looks at all these different things. And between 20 and 30% of those factors are determined by your Google My Business profile. So if you don't have this set up properly or optimized properly, you have greatly reduced your chances of ranking in the local pack because that 20 and 30%, between 20 and 30% of um, your opportunity to rank in the maps area is dependent on this. So this is a huge thing that, that folks miss uh, when doing vet SEO. There are dozens of other vet SEO strategies. Um, I could you know, spend probably two hours, three hours talking through all of these. But for the sake of this video, I'll only talk about two of them. The first one is NAP consistency. So what is NAP? NAP is name, address, phone number. Uh, and, and why I'm showing this, this screenshot here is that Google really, really cares about trust. Uh, there's some, some new uh, Google algorithms that have to do with trust. They look at things uh, like EAT, that's expertise, authority, trust. Um, is one of their kind of algorithms, uh, EAT, yeah, Expertise, Authority, Trust. And that is particularly true when it comes to your name, address, and phone number. Think about it like this. Google is Google's job is to give users the best result possible. If your Facebook account says that you're located at, instead of 1923 East 5th, 5th Street, it says 1927 East 5th Street. Um, or if you have one phone number for your website, one phone number for your Google uh, My Business, one phone number for your Facebook page, um, all of these different things, that creates inconsistency. And how can Google trust that if it provides your business as a result for the user, that it's giving them factual information? Meaning if there's all these different phone numbers out there or different addresses or different 
URLs for your business, um, then, or names, maybe you're, you're, you're on your Facebook, it's a good neighbor vet in Vancouver, Washington versus on your website or on your Google, my business, it's just good neighbor vet. Again, Google's going to be hesitant because it says, well, if I provide this result to the user and they try to call this phone number, it might not work because there are six different phone numbers that I see for this business. And so having this consistency is really, really important. And a lot of businesses have really low, what's called NAP scores. It's just some tools that can evaluate your, the consistency of your name, address, and phone number. So this is really important for vets to get right because the, the more trust that Google has in where you're located, uh, the more likely they'll rank um, your business over others. The other thing is writing comprehen comprehensive content. And here are two clients um, that we have some case studies for that you can see um, how this, uh, this is their number of clicks to their website month after month from Google not from anywhere else but Google. And you can see that when we got started with each of these clients, they were basically at zero visitors from Google a month. Both of these clients within a, about a year time span, year and a half time span, went from basically zero to over 20,000 visitors a month. And this was all done through content. You're probably thinking, well, what content do I write about? And the answer is, uh, especially for dog and cat owners, they ask Google tens of thousands of questions a day um about their animals so you know how old uh to feed my dog table scraps um you know how old should my dog be to feed them table scraps um and you know some people might be searching for this and now you see all of these these businesses here these websites are ranking for this keyword and maybe i'll just type in dog table scraps and you can see that um feeding dog table scraps using this uber suggest tool has about 40 people searching per month in google feed dog table scraps has 30 people per month feeding your dog table scraps has 10 people per month and so that is um 80 combined 80 people per month or a thousand per year asking google about feeding their dog table scraps now if you create a piece of content comprehensively answering this question of one should you should you feed your dog table scraps if so are there certain table scraps that are better than others? Maybe this would be a good you know, idea to share some of the foods that dogs are allergic to so that you, know, you don't feed your dog table scraps that will uh, you, you know, have, them allergic have an allergic reaction to. All of these different things. Now, if you provide the most comprehensive piece of content, you can potentially rank here and drive traffic. Um, and that's what we've done for these brands. And that's where they went from zero to 20,000 plus visitors a month. Answer the questions that your target audience is searching into Google. And as vets, there are, you know, um, there are tons of opportunities, even local content of, you know, best dog parks uh, in Portland. Uh, you can now create local content or best uh, hikes for dogs in Portland. And you can see best dog parks in Portland. Um, there are some... Uh, you know, some, some websites down here that are ranking for the best dog parks in Portland. And, uh, as a local vet, this could be a cool piece of content to, to write. So, um, that's some general information about SEO for vets. And, uh, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please read out, reach out to us at Portland .com. Thank mm -hmm. you.